Today we're going to show you some tricks for making stickers for cars or car decals because when you are in this business you're going to find the best way to make it easier for you and also to center and align your large decal in a surface. So we're going to show you some tricks that we use in our software for that to happen because we have used this trick before in the past to make the sticker match perfectly and to make the application easier so you must know this trick now we're gonna use the back of this band as an example since it has a perfect line in the center in the back right there and we're gonna do that in order for us to center this large decal. And the reason why this is important for you to know is because if you're gonna do this type of business, you're gonna come across certain type of customers that are gonna be very specific and they're gonna ask you to center and align their sticker on the car. So this is why this is very important for you to know. But before we continue, let me invite you guys to give us a like if you're liking this video and also subscribe. And also don't forget that you can use our decal calculator to price this type of projects like car decals and you can also price other products like t-shirts small stickers you can also customize your own invoice you can join by clicking on the join button below on this video or you can go to our website and click on get gold membership just make sure you get the proper membership make sure you pick the most suitable for you the rdi silver or the rdi gold membership if you like asmr videos we also have an account or a membership for two dollars to watch special content we appreciate your support all right so after we took the picture from the back of the van we send it to the software and for those that are new to this channel and don't know what type of software we use we use Corel draw 6 and you can get the newest version i believe is the 2023 if i'm not mistaken uh, you can check out our uh, links below or you can go to our website at rdidecals.com and check out the most recent software available for this so here's the the picture and here's the sticker that we're gonna need to place in the back of the band now i want you to look at this um, the lights and, and, and the behind the van, I took the measurement from here to here and it measure 66.8 inches from this light to this side, okay? So what we're gonna do is here, go to our dashboard and draw like a rectangle. And we're gonna type that measurement 66.8, click enter and we're gonna turn this red now let's uh let's actually move this here to the side and let's place the picture of the back of the band here and we're gonna st uh, stretch it until it matches the red line from side to side so we're gonna make sure that we get it as close as possible it doesn't have to be like super super perfect but at least enough for that to fit almost perfect so i think we're almost there Let's make it bigger a little bit and there there you go all right that's good enough uh, let's leave that in there just in case and now let's drag our sticker here I grouped this together by the way so now what I'm gonna do is go to range and click on group all because we have to turn this white of course it's going to be in the back of the window so they're able to see it now uh, the first thing we're gonna do it's find the center of the entire design okay now that we turn it white we can group it again go to arrange and group together now what we're gonna do is click on the map on on your keyboard the shift button and then keep it click and select the red line here that we drew below and then click letter C for center all right right now what we're gonna do is find the center of the design okay there's the center now what I'm gonna do is draw like a triangle here and we're all actually let's um yeah let's make this white and it matches perfectly here there'll be certain designs where, where you're gonna have to cut through either a letter or a number or a design if the customer wants it perfectly center because there's all types of customers too but if you explain them that you know sometimes 
if they want to avoid us cutting through the letter or to the number uh, in order for people to be able to see what it is and we have to advise them to move it more to the left or to the right depending whatever the customer wants so you want to advise them most of them will listen and they'll just you know go for the professionals but some are very specific so to avoid saying picky now we can get rid of this or actually it's not in the way let's leave it there just in case here's another trick that i do now if you want this center with the windshield so what we do here in the software now that we got the measurement perfectly here okay now what we're gonna do is draw a rectangle and make sure that the top and the bottom and the sides match perfect as perfect as possible on the windshield okay because that's pretty much what the windshield is it's a rectangle except for it's a curved edge and now we're gonna make sure that this side also is perfectly aligned with the windshield all right so there you have it now what we're gonna do if you want to center if the customer requested the the sticker to be uh, centered in the windshield perfectly both horizontal and vertical so what are you gonna do here it's uh, you're gonna highlight this sticker and uh, you're gonna click on the rectangle that we just drew and then go to a range and go where it says align and distribute and right here you're gonna find align center horizontally okay now it's centered that now we're gonna do the same but vertically we're gonna go to align and align centers vertically and see you can also add some like um, what we call alignments or registrations like this squares where you can place one here on top so that way you know let's say for example you can draw like a rectangle here however the reason why uh, we don't do it is because certain designs are friendly for this type of things but some people might not want to do it because they don't want to waste material what they call but as we always say you cannot do both you either save material or save time for us time is more important than saving material I don't know how that sounded I know some of you not gonna like it but that's just us you know that time is valuable I mean it's not really the time It's mostly it makes it easier for you the more comfortable you are doing this it's going to place your decal perfectly where you want it and align as you want it so that way you're not taking the measurements from side to side and you know going around back and forth it takes a lot of time and what whether you like it or not it also kind of stress you out so this type of uh, tricks will save you a lot of time it will give you more patience and confidence to do your decal projects but this is some of the cool tricks that we learn how to do within time so if you want to you know for the next project you want to try and do this but again it is very important that you take the perfect measurement and always find something where you can um, know like for example here I knew that the measurement was from above this handle right here that's what I always type in my notes that the measurement was taken from above the handle so that way when I trace my line here I know it's above the handle because as you go up or down uh, the measurement changes and even two inches can make a huge difference on the measurement in my effect perfectly like where you want to place your decal so you must watch out for those details and try to get as close as possible the measurement of the vehicle that you're working on and send it to the software and do what I did trace red line or rectangle and until it matches perfectly as you saw me do it anyway hopefully this tip helps you guys and if you like this video make sure you give us a like subscribe if you're new i would really appreciate your support thank you guys we'll see you again pretty soon